गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज कम्प्लीटिंग योर होमवर्क लर्निंग द सब्जेक्ट्स सो वी आर स्टडिंग प्लान टिश्यू लेट्स रिकॉल वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द लास्ट वीडियोज सो प्लान टिश्यू इज ऑफ टू टाइप दैट इज मैरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू एंड परमानेंट टिश्यू मैरिस्मेटिक टिश्यू मीन्स दोज टिश्यूज विच आर हैविंग द कैपेसिटी टू डिवाइड and permanent tissue means those meristematic tissue which has lost the power of division is known as the permanent tissue now according to the location meristematic tissue is of three type that is lateral intercalary and apical meristematic tissue that already we have done in the last video now permanent tissue is of two type that is simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue simple permanent tissue means the tissues which are similar in structure or similar cells combined together to form the simple permanent tissues whereas complex permanent tissue means the cells are different but they coordinate with each other to perform a particular function now let's start with the today's topic that is simple permanent tissue they are those tissues in which the permanent cells are similar in structure origin and function simple permanent tissues are of three type that is parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma first we will study about parenchyma so parenchyma is a type of simple permanent tissue which consists of relatively unspecialized cell with thin cell walls they are living cells they are usually loosely packed so there is intercellular space present in between the cells intercellular space i think you might be knowing means the space between the two cells now function of parenchyma it helps to store the food so storage of food is the major function of parenchyma cells this tissue provides support to plants presence of intercellular spaces in between the parenchyma cells allow movement of gases and gaseous exchange now special type of parenchyma is chlorenchyma chlorenchyma and arenchyma you know very well see chlorenchyma name chlorenchyma chlorine means chlorophyll so parenchyma containing chloroplast is called the chlorenchyma so as it contain the chloroplast so obviously it will help in photosynthesis so definition of chlorenchyma is what it is a type of parenchyma containing chloroplast that is known as the chlorenchyma and it helps in photosynthesis next is arenchyma it is the modified parenchyma which is found in aquatic plants in aquatic plants large air cavities are present in parenchyma to give buoyancy to plants to help them float you must have seen the lotus plant the leaves are floating on the surface of the water that is due to this arenchyma you can think about the example of a balloon filled with the air if you will fill the air into the balloon and let it into the water it will float same way this contain the air cavities that help this arenchyma to or this help this uh, aquatic plants to float now with this diagram it will be more clear see these are the cells see here two diagram is being given of the same one is transverse section another is longitudinal section transverse section means when the tissues are being cut horizontally and longitudinal means when it is cut vertically so this is transverse section and this is longitudinal section see here intercellular space intercellular space is present in between the cells next chloroplast is present vacuoles are there that is the same the plant cell whatever it is being present in the plant cell same organelles are present over there but the main thing is there between the cell is intercellular space now next is collenchyma don't get confused in the chlorenchyma and collenchyma this is collenchyma and that last that we studied was the chlorenchyma chlorenchyma is the part or the type of parenchyma whereas collenchyma is the simple permanent tissue so it is a simple permanent tissue of living cell which provide flexibility to the soft aerial part so that they can bend without breaking you must have seen when the winds blow the small plants they get bent and after that they erect and stand so they bend without breaking due to this collenchyma 
So this cells of this tissues are living elongated and irregularly thickened at the corner. So in parenchyma we have seen that it was not been thickened. So there was the large intercellular space in between. But here as it is being thickened at the corner so intercellular space is very little. So there is very little intercellular space. Now function. It allow easy bending in various part of the plant like leaf, stem and it allows easy bending so it whenever the plant bends, it bends without breaking. It also provide mechanical support to the plant. Now it will be more clear through this diagram. See here wall thickening that only I have told you that the corner is being thickened so intercellular space become very little. That was not there in parenchyma. So this is the basic difference between the difference between the parenchyma and colenchyma. So A is the transverse section and B is the longitudinal section of the colenchyma. Now difference between parenchyma and colenchyma. So in parenchyma cells are isodiametric. Isodiametric I think you might be knowing means having same diameter. Means all the cells are having more or less same diameter. Whereas in colenchyma the cells are elongated. Here cell wall is thin. Here cell wall is unevenly thickened generally over the corner. That's why the intercellular space is very little. This tissue provides support to plant and also stores food whereas this provides both mechanical strength as well as flexibility. So I hope you must have understood parenchyma and colenchyma. So in homework write down the difference between the parenchyma and colenchyma. Draw the diagram of parenchyma and colenchyma. So if you have any doubt you can ask me through the campus care. I hope all the things is being clear. Thank you.